Hey guys, what's going on? It's your homeboy Picasso. Thanks for joining in on another video. And today, guys, it's just a very. Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for joining in your humble host Picasso. Welcome back. This is a small app review guys, and it's a very simple app But it uh, it It's really good like um, the normal app drawers, you know, not really my thing I do like the app drawer on lollipop, which is very similar to the Android 5.0 the Google now launcher uh, App drawer so tapping it. It's basically Okay, well, I made the back transparent, so that's why it looks like that. But it gives you that card style from uh, Android Lollipop. Okay, so as you see, I just put that on the home screen. So, therefore, I don't use that app drawer, but I do like that style. So, we're going to go ahead and check out AppSwap. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, we're going to tap on it. Boom, there's AppSwap. What's so special about it? It still has that uh, uh, Android Lollipop look and feel to it, except it doesn't take up as much as the space uh, uh, like the uh, like Nova launchers or even the Google Now launcher. It does have a little button down here, as you see, a little dialer that, when tapping on it, it brings up the uh, keypad, the number pad, and with the letters on it for quick app searching, just tap it and it's going to bring up the apps, so that's J, or the JKL area, tapping it again, tapping it again. So, very cool, let's just go back. All right, and of course you have the header, uh, the header colors we can see which are blue. We have the search button over there as well. Let's go ahead and tap the search button, and it brings up the keyboard. Okay, so you do have the option to type out the full application and just get straight to it instead of using the keypad. Then over here we have the menu button. Of course, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before I actually do that, this uh, this application drawer it does not scroll left to right or vertical, uh, or vertical. Uh, this application drawer it doesn't scroll horizontally; it scrolls vertically. So just something to keep in mind. And when scrolling, as you see here, the header and the bottom it goes away. Well, when scrolling down, anyways, scrolling up, it they reappear. As you see, scrolling down, scrolling up. If you scroll to the right, it's automatically to the Play Store. So scroll to the right, and it's going to open the Play Store. Swiping to the left brings up Google Now. There you see Google Now. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings and let's see what's behind this. So right off the bat, jumping into the settings, you can pin applications. So you can have your favorite apps pinned to the first, second row, just anywhere. You can have them pinned there for quick access. Okay, you can tag apps. Okay, I haven't tagged any apps yet, so I don't really know uh, uh, exactly what that part is. So I will try that, maybe do an update later, or you guys could try it if you're interested. Then you can show hidden apps, that which means you can hide apps, uh, which is another thing I like uh, Nova Launcher for because a lot of the the bloat. You know, if you have a device with bloat where you don't want to see some of those carrier applications and stuff like that, you do have the option to hide those applications. All right, and then you have categories down here for quick jumping in. So finance, you only have two, jump in there, boom, like that. Uh, business, just like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, a nice way to just get to the applications right off the bat. Let's go ahead and jump into the settings. Now, it can open with the keyboard, which I have set to no, so I leave that. And then you can remove the slide up animation, okay? The act that Android L animation. Uh, persistent notifications on, it's whatever. Uh, no action bar at launch. So at launch, you don't have to have the header and the uh, base there. Quick swipes, you can configure up to eight swipe shortcuts while opening, while the app drawer is open or the app swap. Uh, uh, drawers open. Then you have mini mode. Mini mode, I'm not a fan of mini mode. It just basically makes the app drawer smaller. Okay, and it does open with the keyboard. And once you, let's see here, is it going to go? Oh, okay. So it's set to mini mode. 
tab it's going to open in mini mode and then basically you just have your recent applications so these are the recent applications and then you have the dialer where you can just jump into the applications very easily press the back to get out so you don't have that full app drawer so you just open whatever recently if that's what you want to use it's there and if not if you know whatever application say it starts with T just hit T and if it starts with U, you hit it again it's gonna search for it and then V and all those applications that have those corresponding letters so you do have the menu button up here okay so mini mode if you don't want to scroll through your apps and look if you know what you're going for mini mode there is pretty app cool. purchase I don't remember how much it was I think it was 99 cents something like that and then you're able to change the themes of course I got blue on but you have a good little list here that you can uh, change the colors to I'll go deep orange boom there you see it let's get out of that and there it is so the header and the base is orange so pretty cool jump back in into settings icon packs another thing I like I'm using the Aeon or Ion or Aeon I think it's Aeon I'm using the Aeon icon pack so it's pretty cool it does support third-party icons which is something I really like in an application drawer so that's cool you can reverse the app list make the apps easier to reach with your thumb and then navigation drawer it says prevent swipe to open the drawer and that's on so no swipes will open the app drawer. Uh, you can show badges for new and updated apps. I'm actually going to do that. Display the name so you can remove the name under the application. Drawer transparency, I said no. You can sort by most recently used. You can display bigger icons. There's shortcut button T9 in the bar. Edit drawer content so you can reorder or hide content. So that's where you'd go if you want to hide applications. Um, then you can emulate Google Now gesture. So this is swipe up and it says here, recommended if you don't have a navigation bar, uh, bracket Samsung. Okay, then about tips, share the app switch, reset the icons, show package name, and that's it. So very cool guys. I'm gonna go back to the blue. Uh, where is the blue here? There we go. I'm going to go back to um, a very, very cool application drawer. I use it instead of the default Nova Launcher drawer. This is Nova Launcher. I'm running KLWP, Custom Live Wallpaper. Um, if you're interested in uh, the wallpaper, because this is just a wallpaper, it's not a widget, it is a wallpaper. There are no widgets on this page. It's a wallpaper. As you see, if there was a widget, you would see it over the wallpaper, which KLWP, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, so you want to go ahead and check out the cards uh, on the screen here. Um, go over to that playlist, uh, Android theme like a true boss, and yeah, a lot of interesting stuff over there. Go check that out. I hope you like the little quick look slash review of uh, AppSwap. It's very cool. I like it. And I mean, I'm going to keep using it. I'm not going to stop using it. It's awesome. I'm probably going to throw this on all my devices. Uh, I think my G3 is next uh, to get app swap. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to throw it on the Nexus 9, see how it is hey on guys, a tablet. Your humble host, Picasso, here. Thanks for joining in. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Vertical. I, blah, blah, blah.